Hello everybody, so I'm going to show you where I'm at right now uh, with my build. Um, last night I finally got all of the uh, electronics working. Uh, so some programming issues. Uh, not issues, but just uh, parameters I had to set really. Uh, so all the electronics are working and it works really well. Um, I can show you how uh, this is going to print 3D objects. See this here is a, a filament, 3 millimeters, and it goes into this extruder which gets heated up to 230 degrees Celsius and then it, and then it issues from the, uh, the nozzle as the motors move uh, the nozzle around in, in uh, X, Y dimensions and Z dimensions to make a 3D object. So here on the control panel right now I can, uh, I can tell it to uh, turn on the extruder heater. Uh, right now it's off and as you can see the temperature is low. As soon as I turn that on Say set, sets the temperature to it. This thing lights up, and the temperature is going to start to climb on that. Uh, and if you look over here on the card, the little red light means that power is going to the extruder head, and it's heating it up right now. So we're already uh, we're moving along. It's uh, at 82 degrees, and it's climbing about a degree a second. Uh, and that is degrees Celsius, and we're going to go to 231 degrees, or 230 degrees Celsius. And uh, the ABS plastic will then be hot enough to melt. Uh, this is a control program called Mac Pronterface. <laughs> I don't know why they call it that, it's pretty funny. Um, and it talks to the software that's loaded up on this little card here, uh, which interprets all the different uh, commands that I send from here. Uh, to the controller card, which then operates all the you know motors and heaters and whatnot. So uh, we're at uh, 76 degrees and uh, the temperature is rising. It's going to need a little time for it to to get up there, and uh, everything should be working. Uh, also working is uh, I can turn on the uh, the heater bed. If I turn the heater bed on, I'm going to say uh, set, and I'm going to set that to like 110 degrees Celsius. Actually, let me set that lower. I don't really like that. So high, it doesn't need to be so high. Okay, I'll set it to 60 degrees. I'm going to say set. As soon as they say set, the other light should go on. Uh, and it should start, uh, temperature should start climbing on the heater bed as well. And it is. See? So as you see, our temperature is climbing. Uh, Actually, it, it, it had stopped climbing for a second because my uh, my leads to the extruder had uh, had become disconnected. But uh, it's heating up, and soon it'll be hot enough to melt the plastic, and it will melt the plastic. I have a few other buttons here that I, uh, I managed to make work as well, which is uh, the the fan connections. I can turn the fan on, and I can turn the fan off, and of course I can move. Uh, these different uh, motors around. Those are my Z-axis motors. Uh, so it's all working. It's all working really great. It's pretty neat stuff. And as you can see, the extruder is now producing hot ABS plastic. And this would be uh, painting some sort of a picture on a flat surface, and that's how that works. I'm going to send a little motor off command now to this, uh, to this machine. There we go. And it looks like the extruded temperature is absolutely perfect. And, and here comes the plastic. See the plastic coming out. It's pretty neat. 